So this is the iPhone 14 Pro and you may be interested in how the SIM card actually works is Apple also released the iPhone without a SIM card slot. But if I take the case of my device, I'm going to show you that here on this side, I do actually have the SIM card slot. Not sure if you can see it, but I do have it because I live in Europe. I don't live in the United States and that's why this iPhone has a SIM card slot. As Apple says on the, their website about SIM cards, it shows you where it is on each iPhone, but next to iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, there is an asterisk uh, letting you know that in the United States you actually don't have it. So it's possible to buy this iPhone abroad if you live in the States and you're gonna have it with the SIM card slot. It behaves as a regular one as you're used to from any other iPhone. But the way it works in the States is that you can only get it to your carrier using the eSIM, which I'm not really against, but it's not a physical SIM card you put inside your iPhone. It works the same way as you have the cellular Apple Watch. You can see the red circle in here on the digital crown. This is the cellular Apple Watch, but I don't put an actual SIM card inside it. I can only like get the code from uh, the carrier. You follow the instructions, you pay uh, the monthly fee or whatever you have from the carrier, and you can actually install it through the software. So you put in some codes and you log it in there. And the same thing can be done on the iPhone. In fact, it's the only way to do it on the iPhone 14 in the United States. So this is pretty much how this stuff works. Apple couldn't really roll out this feature to the entire world because they uh, didn't have the carriers ready everywhere across the globe. So some carriers were not ready to ship only the eSIMs or I mean, it's just not something uh, that people could be like excited about. I don't, I don't really see a big improvement in this. But if we take a look at it from the improvement point of view, like what does Apple try to achieve with this? Well, one theory is that there is one less port and one less space where uh, you actually put something in. So it could technically help with the water resistance. So if you remove every single thing like the headphone jack, the SIM slot, perhaps even the charging port, then there's so much less space where water could get inside. And that means that it's going to be better for going with the iPhone underwater. Not sure if many people do that or if this is something that we want to strive for, but this is also going to help. And perhaps it's just like a gradual improvement to a portless iPhone, like there are rumored to remove the uh, lightning port from the iPhone completely. So perhaps they want to like gradually keep on doing that, gradually remove some stuff like the headphone jack, like I said, and the SIM slot. So perhaps they just want to like not go all at once because people would be upset and wouldn't want to use it. But like people should get used to it if that's their plan. So perhaps they also do it because of this reason. But other than that, if you're really mad about it and you live in the States, just purchase this abroad or get it from like Europe and stuff so yeah i mean you're gonna pay a lot more so I'm not sure if that's worth it for you but yeah i don't really see it as a huge deal i just use the eSIM if i lived in the state so it's just up to you but i don't think that it's a bad advancement i just think that it is interesting to see apple constantly removing stuff and removing things from the iphone so yeah this is my take on it. This is how I can use the SIM card on an iPhone 14. This is how it works. And if the video helps you out, subscribe to Foxtag and check out the next video about the iPhone 14.